Uh, when I would talk to people, and uh, you know, God has blessed me where I travel around a lot. And in my travels, man, people would dialogue, they'll ask if I still do music. And then when I express to them my desire that I saw greater levels of impact, not through me writing rhymes, because only so much content can be captured in a 45 minute CD. And I mean, I would lace my stuff with heavy theology. So it's not like, you know, people would look to my CD to disciple them, but it's that reality. Man, I can give them as much content, but there's limits when it comes to artistic expression. At the same time, I was like, man, the follow up that needs to be done is found in the method of discipleship. And so that's when I realized, like, man, so many people are putting the emphasis on the rappers. Even when people would say, hey, why'd you stop doing music? And I was like, well, I was a pastor. You didn't realize I was a pastor as well? Nah, I just knew you as Azriel. Oh, man, I, ain't nobody called me that name in years. And so, like, I began to connect and say, well, man, like, if you thought that I was exclusively only, like, an MC to glorify God, man, maybe I didn't do something right to kind of, you know, put myself out there as a, as a shepherd, an under-shepherd, a church planter, a husband. And so I was like, there's so many more dimensions to my life than what you see or heard from my music. And that was me on a small level, never signed to a major deal, never had distribution. So I can't even imagine what the other Christian rappers or rappers who are Christian begin to express when people see them as that one-dimensional caricature that they get from the content of their CD. And so I was like, man, that's that's when I began to realize that if, if people began to see that, man, it's beyond music, it's actually the life rhythm that God has called us to, then I think that once that happens, then the rappers won't be the idols of people's hearts. Then, then, the, then the people won't put the evangelistic pressure on the rappers only. And that's why I tell, like when Cray, when he dropped church clothes, you know, I text him and said, bro, I'm proud of you because I feel like this is gonna put the burden of responsibility on believers. Because if we hand out church clothes as a, as a track, like what I was doing in the streets of Kansas City, handing it out as a track to then dialogue with non-believers who weren't coming to the Christian concerts, then I would be like, now you're actually allowing people to realize one person should not be, uh, we shouldn't be praying for one person to reach millions, but what if millions just reached one? I mean, it's that, that kind of philosophy that I was like wrestling through in 2012 and then when I, went to reach life and I got to get inside and see things and traveling with reach, that's when I was like, yo, the people just need shepherding, they need guidance, they need wisdom, but they can't just look to one dude. And if they do look to one dude, it show sure can't be a rapper, it's gotta be a local pastor. So then I was like, man, if we could just awaken the hearts and get them committed to local churches, I can't imagine then what the supporters of Christian hip hop can do.